hi everyone. I just came home from Brazil and traveling from the time I left to the time I arrived was about a 24 hour trip door to door. And so I thought I would share with you a short practice that the kind of poses that I like to do to help recover from long travel, whether it's a road trip or just a long commute to your office or a long flight, like what I've just had. And so there's a few key things to reopen up the flow of energy in the body to help um, alleviate things like jet lag and also digestive problems that can happen and just to feel more grounded and at ease in your body after a lot of travel. So this will be a short, sweet practice. And even if you're not traveling, I hope you enjoy it. Right? Come to a comfortable seat. Take a moment to close your eyes or just take your awareness deep inside. Allow your breath to move freely and notice the way that your breath moves. And then take about three deeper, more conscious, fuller breaths. Just using these deeper breaths to really come home, to return, to ground, to ground into your own physical body. Join your hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra, and we'll open with one time the sound of Om. To your heart, rest your hands, lift your head, and gently open up your eyes and come to hands and knees, all fours. And right away, actually stretch back into a child's pose. Keep your hands out in front of you, lower your forehead down, and take three more big and full breaths, very conscious breaths, up into the back side of your body. Whether you've just landed home from a trip or maybe you're actually traveling when you do this practice, it's nice to come into contact with the earth wherever you are to re-land and to ground down. And then inhale and rise up into a cat spine. So round your way up onto your hands and your knees. With an exhalation, move your groins back, lift your sitting bones like a cat, excuse me, like a cow. <laughs> Take your hips to your heels. So inhale, round up, it's cat, like a Halloween cat. And exhale, tilt your pelvis, pull your hips back to your heels. Just gentle undulation with your spine, opening up to the flow of your breath. And take one more rounding breath up into a cat. And then tuck your toes, make the same action with your pelvis, lift your sitting bones and lift your hips, come to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedal through your legs a little bit, bend one knee, drop the opposite heel down. And just move it side to side, opening up here through your spine, shoulders and opening up a little bit through the backs of your legs. With an inhalation, sweep your right leg to the sky. And then bend your right knee, open up through your hip. Roll your ankle around in circles. After a long flight, my ankles are always swollen. <laughs> so rolling out through the joint. And then take your leg up, turn your top thigh internally, and step your right foot forward into a lunge. Keep your back knee lifted, but allow your pelvis to descend down a little bit. Tone your navel, lift up here through your heart. And as you exhale, straighten your legs, ground your back heel and dorsiflex the right foot. Pull your toes back, pull your heel down and back. Then pulse it with your breath. Inhale, bend, front knee, descend your pelvis slightly as you lift and open through the chest. 
Exhale, draw your hips back, straight legs and fold. One more time, inhale to the lunge. Exhale to this long and wide pyramid form. We bend your right knee and twist right arm to the sky. Right, stretch wide from the center of your heart, out through your arms, out through your fingertips. And then lower your right hand inside of your right foot. Turn your feet parallel. Fold right down between your legs. Press Ardha Padottanasana. You might be some stiffness present in the body. Keep connecting to the flow of your breath. And you offer the breath to any places that just need a little softening or opening or deeper release. We lengthen here out through your spine, then walk it to the front of your mat and step back, downward facing dog. You bring your knees down. With your knees down, squeeze the floor with your hands, pulse forward a little bit, lift your heels and contract the hamstrings, and then point your, or tuck your toes and take your hips to your heels. Inhale, pulse it forward, bend elbows, pull heels to hips, and exhale, take it back. Right, just pulsating right, through a little cobra primer, right, waking up the shoulders, opening up through the heart, and contracting the back of the legs to draw strength into your hamstrings. Let's do two more. And then lift your hips, downward facing dog. Please reach your left leg to the sky. Right, bend your left knee, open up your hip, and start to circle your ankle around a few times. Re-extend your top leg, turn your thigh internally, and step left foot forward, come to lunge. I like to stay high on my fingertips, but you could also actually grab two blocks and put your hands on your blocks. Let your pelvis descend slightly, tone through your navel, lift through your heart. As you exhale, lift your hips, straighten your legs, ground your back heel, and flex your front foot so you're just on the left heel. Push your thigh bones strongly back toward the hamstrings. That action is going to help open up the energy in the pelvis, helps energy move down, upana vayu, which is what we need to ground and reorient after a big trip. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heart, open it up. Exhale, pull it back, strong legs, fold inside. A few more times, just moving with breath through these simple forms, allowing energy to open up and circulate, breath and prana to move through your body. Let's do two more. And then lunge, keep your back knee lifted and take the twist, left arm up overhead. Right, root your left hip down and in a little bit toward the midline. Try to move your right lung forward inside the twist, then pulse and reach wide out through both arms. Lower your left hand down, walk your feet around so you're in a wide straddle fold, fold inside. This time reach your hands back. You could grab a little strap or towel or interlace your fingers, lift your shoulders up, reach your hands up and over your head, Padottanasana C. And then bring your hands down, walk to the front of your mat again, bend your left knee, push into your foot and step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Let's make it a functional forward fold. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. Make the outer feet parallel to the long sides of your mat. Micro bend your knees, hands either on fingertips or on blocks, and hinge back. Pull your hips way back behind your heels. Load your heels with weight. Stretch out nice and long and full through your spine. Three big expansive breaths here to lift energy up into the back of the lungs. And exhale as you tone and pull navel to spine. Keep your neck long, right, spine long in both directions. 
And then from here, come onto your fingertips, lengthen out through your spine, turn your toes out more, bend your knees, and start to lower down into malasana, into a squat. If you want a little bit more support, you can always take a block, turn it sideways, and sit on the block. Ooh, that actually feels pretty good. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. All right, so uh, it's normal when you travel, especially if you're taking a flight, to just be really stiff in your body. So just take a few moments to breathe, find pathways of ease to help energy circulate, to start to feel more, you know, grounded and at home wherever we might be. All right, lift up, fold forward, turn your feet parallel, and now walk your feet into hips distance. More traditional forward fold Uttanasana. Stack your bones, hip bones, greater trochanter in line with your heels. Fold in. And now rise halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, long through your spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. To make a safe pathway for the low back, which might be feeling stiff, bend your knees, lower your hips, Come up like chair pose, but then just stand all the way up. Hold your left wrist inside, bend to the right. Unlock your knees, ground into your feet. Inhale up, change your wrist, and exhale, reach it over to your left side. Opening up the side channels, the side body, expanding the power of the breath. Inhale, rise up, switch your wrist. Exhale to the right side again. Inhale up, change your wrist, and exhale to your left side. Okay, inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, arms overhead. Exhale, dive forward, touch the ground, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left foot back, bring your knee down. Scissor your legs towards each other, rise to low lunge, Anjaneyasana. And for this one, bend your elbows, hold opposite elbows. Let your pelvis get heavier, lift your elbow tips up to the big frame for your face, then move your waistline back. Curl, navel to heart to crown, reach it up. Inhale, arms to the sky, and exhale, sprinkle your fingertips to the floor. Step into downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, inhale, high plank pose, Paula Hasana. Bring your knees down, bend your elbows, and take a half form of Chaturanga. Point your feet, inhale, Cobra pose. Pull your heart forward and up, root back through your shoulders. And exhale to the floor. Tuck your toes, rise up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky, Ekapada and Homokashvanasan. Exhale, step it forward, back knee down. Inhale, rise, low lunge. Bend your arms, hold opposite, opposite elbows. Just to help get a little bit more expanse and opening through the chest, through the shoulders. Move your throat back a little bit and then really drink a deep breath. Inhale, arms to the sky, lift the back ribs, and exhale, touch down. Push through your foot, walk forward. Inhale, rise halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend knees, rise up like a chair, then just stand and gather your hands to your heart. Just moving it with the breath. Fearless heart, namaskar. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, touch down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step right leg back, lower your knee, and then follow your inhale up into Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands to the ground, walk it back, down dog. Inhale, forward, Palakasana plank. Exhale, take your knees down, bend elbows through a half push-up. Inhale, sweep your heart open, cobra. Exhale, lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, walk it through, bring your back knee down. Inhale, Anjaneya, low lunge. Exhale, touch down. Push through your foot and step forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, lower your hips, reach up through your spine. 
then rise and gather your hands to heart center. Take a wide stance, Tara Asana, Starlight Pose. Just take a moment and really feel the power, the support of the earth wherever you are. Push to the bones of your feet, ground ball of big toe, inner heel, ball of baby toe, outer heel. Reach your arms wide and activate your arms and legs, strong power of muscle to bone. Turn your right foot to the right, bend your knee, come to warrior two. Measure that the wrists and the ankles align with each other. So give yourself a generous stance in between your feet. The standing poses wake up the big muscles in the legs and help us to ground down. Feel the power of your feet push through the earth. Turn your right hand up and inhale, flow back and reverse your warrior. Viparita Virabhadrasana. Exhale, bring your right elbow onto your thigh, or if you have a block, reach for your block and touch the floor outside of your right foot. Side angle. Bring your feet energetically toward each other. Hug muscle to bone. Push your thighs back and wide. Into the width, scoop your right hip under a little bit. Reach your left arm all the way over your ear. Side angle pose is one of my favorite standing poses to really open the hips to get the length and the expanse of the side of the body. I find it a very grounding and also empowering shape. Take three deep breaths. Now push down strongly through your feet and inhale, lift up into starlight pose. Arms wide, spin your feet parallel. Take a moment, find center, pulse from your center through your legs up and wide through your arms. Turn your left foot to the left, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, bend your knee, open your arms, align left knee with left ankle, second, third toe. Let your pelvis descend toward the earth. Okay, just drawing in that power of grounding energy. Engage your muscles of your legs, then use the muscles to move your right thigh bone back in space. Turn your left palm up, inhale, reach up, reach back, open space through your side waist. And exhale to side angle pose, either elbow on thigh or use a block or touch fingertips to the floor outside of your left foot. Make contact between your left arm and left leg, push them together for more stability. Move your thighs back a little bit in space, then reach your right arm all the way over your ear. It connects to the flow of your breath. Run the breath through the body very consciously to wake up any places of tension, fatigue, stress, and then turn and twist yourself open. Push into your feet, inhale, lift up, starlight pose. Nice and wide through your legs and arms. Reach back, again, clasp. Take your opposite hand on top of whatever you did the first time. Lift through your heart space, fold between your legs. And give a little squeeze of energy to your legs. Pull muscle to bone, lift your kneecaps, lift through your quadriceps. And then bring your fingertips to the floor, rise up halfway. Turn your left toes to the left, bend your left knee, keep your hands down. So it's a little bit higher than skandhasana. Keep both heels grounded. Push your groins back and apart. Inhale through the center. Turn the right foot out. Bend your right knee. So the foot's turning to about 45 degrees, not all the way out. Okay, take your groins back and wide. Then touch your heart forward so your spine stays long. Okay, pull it over to the other side again, to the left. This time. You can come up onto the right heel, lift the toes and come into skandhasana if you like. It's like a half malasana shape with the left leg. You could also stay higher where we just were. If you're in skandhasana and you feel pretty good here and grounded, you're welcome to lift your arms, come into a cactus shape. Just adding the shoulder opening to this. Okay, squeeze to your right inner thigh, move your thighs and groins back, shoulders back. Enjoy another breath. 
and then touch down. Use your hands for support, lift your hips, turn your right toes out and come into your right side. So it's either that higher form or we're in skandhasana, which is a great standing hip opener. Right arm inside the right leg, create contact, push them together, maybe open to cactus. Really take care of your straight leg by pulling muscle to bone. Micro bend your left knee. And bring your fingertips down, lift your hips, come into a wide straddle fold, right down the center. Prasarita Padottanasana, fold in. And then rise halfway lift. Unlock your knees and glide your hands onto your shins. Stretch your heart forward. Push into your feet and inhale up. Reach your arms up. Walk your feet in. Stretch as long as you can down to the earth and up toward the sky. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, turn to the front of your mat. Tadasana. Rest your arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hinge your hips back, touch the earth, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise halfway and lengthen. Exhale, step to high plank, make your hands symmetrical, lower chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog, round your hands, lift up through your heart, and then tone your belly, lift up and back to down dog. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. Exhale, walk your foot forward and please come to high crescent lunge. Just giving a big movement up through the torso, through the chest, so you can fill with breath, amplify space in the back body, recharge with the vitality. Then bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, puff the space up to the back of your waistline and exhale, hook your left elbow over your right thigh. Push the elbow and the knee together. Okay, get really stable through your pelvis so the hips don't twist. And twist from your ribs, your left ribs around to the right. As you inhale, untwist. Frame your right foot and step to down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Great. Exhale, walk left foot all the way through between your hands, ground into your foot, rise to high crescent lunge. Pull your feet toward each other like scissors to help anchor your pelvis. Use your breath, lift, lengthen up. And then as you exhale, draw hands to heart center just to reconnect. Take a big inhale, big into the back waist and exhale, hook your right elbow over your left knee. Right. Twisting is nice if you've been sitting a lot right, in a car or a train or a plane, right, just to help the spine release tension. And it can also give a little bit of a boost to our digestion by sort of massaging the inner organs, make sure everything keeps functioning properly. It really saturate your whole shape here with the flow of your breath. Inhale, unwind, exhale, down dog. Hold dog pose or inhale to a plank position and slowly lower chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, lift your hips and pull back to down dog. Stretch your right leg up, bend your knee and open up through your right hip. And now bring your right shin all the way around and forward to pigeon. And lower your back knee. You can point the back foot, that's fine to do, as long as you keep the leg strong and activated. Pull your knees energetically together to help center your pelvis. And then let your pelvis stay heavy and start to walk forward and come onto your elbows and fold in. Offer some deep, clearing and calming breaths right, around your pelvis, your lower back, your outer hips. And 
Give two more full breaths in pigeon. Okay, keep the back of your right knee activated and press through the baby toe side of your foot. And then let's add a little thigh stretch. Thigh stretching is really important when you're traveling to release the tension that accumulates from being in a seated position for so long. Do the quads, the hip flexor, and the psoas. As we open up our, our quads, it also helps to release a panavayu, the downward flow of energy. With your right hand, reach back, try to hold your left foot. Instead of twisting your torso, you can stay forward in pigeon and just pull your left heel right in towards your left sitting bone. Then pull the right hip back so your pelvis stays pretty level. One more deep breath. Release your back foot. Lift up a little. We're going to take this into a like a shooting star. So lift your back knee, kick your right foot over to the left side, ground your back heel, and then reach up through your left hand. Okay, pull back through your shoulders. It's a Parjva Vashistasana, or sometimes it's the, called the wild, wild thing. Bring your hands down. Pull your right leg back. Please come into down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg to the sky, Ikapada and Hobuka. Bend your knee, open up through your left hip. We lengthen your top leg, square your pelvis, and exhale, left leg forward, pigeon. Tone the back of your left knee like you're clamping something with the knee to help protect your ligaments. Push through the outer part of your left foot. Instead of sitting on the left hip, like I'm currently doing, Pull your legs isometrically together. Try to square your pelvis. As you're ready, come down. It takes a little effort inside of pigeon to hold the integrity of the shape, but that's going to have more maximum benefit for the opening of the pelvis, the release and the grounding effect of energy, as well as the protection of your knees. more deep, slow breaths. We'll add the thigh stretch. So lift your, your right foot up, keep the knee grounded. Reach with your opposite hand. So we don't want to, we're not taking this into a big back bend like mermaid, and we're also not really twisting like we do in Twisted Monkey. It's more of a pigeon straight ahead with your pelvis and torso. But pull the right heel up into the right sitting bone area. Flex your toes against your hand to help keep the traction, the engagement of the leg. A couple deep breaths. Release your back foot, climb up a little bit, and then lift your hips, shoot your left foot over to the right side, ground your right foot and lift up like a shooting star. Squeeze the floor with your left hand and draw your shoulders back and just feel how good it is to open wide and expand the energy. Lower your right hand, step into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, come like a wave forward. If you're gonna bat your and keep your arms strong and straight. Make sure to descend your hips, point your toes, come to upward facing dog. Pull back through your shoulders, rise up through your heart. Exhale, lift your hips to downward facing dog. And bring your knees down and come to sit. And as you sit, uh, turn and uh, take your legs out wide, setting up Upa Pashta Konasana. 
with your legs in a wide angle, you can lift up onto a blanket to give your pelvis a little bit more height, which can help to find the proper angle of your hips so that you're not rounding through your lower back. You can also find it by bending your knees. Okay, activate muscle to bone, pull your flesh of your bum back, turn your thighs in, widen out against, away from the midline. Okay, turn to your right side, frame your right foot, your right leg. Ground into your thighs, lift up through your spine, and exhale, fold over your right leg. Reach and hold the leg or the foot with your opposite hand as you twist and bow forward. Anchor down through your thigh bones and inhale, lift back up to center. Frame your left leg, push through your thighs, flex both feet, turn and twist to your left. Ground through your leg bones as you lift up and decompress your spine. And then fold over your left leg and reach over with your opposite hand, bow in. One more very deep breath, ujjayi breath. Press through your thighs, come back up. And let's take it right down the center. Okay, push back through your inner thighs, fold in between your legs, upavishta konasana. This wide straddle fold is a very good pose to help ground energy. When the legs are wide like this, a pranavayu moves down. That's the downward movement of air in the body. And it's connected to our ability to feel at ease, at home, connected inside. And tone your inner thigh muscles and keep the strength in your legs. Push from your pelvis out through both legs and feet. through your thigh bones, use your hands and walk yourself back up. Support underneath your knees, bend your knees and draw your legs in. Come into a seated position. As you come into a seated pose, again, you can sit on support if you'd like. Bring your right hand across towards your left side of your head or left ear. And very gently tip your right ear towards your right shoulder. Crawl your left fingertips over to the left, away from you. And then just experiment with the positioning here of your head and your neck to find some kind of release to the left side of your neck. So you might drag your chin more towards your chest and experiment there. You might lift your chin, experiment there. You might position the head slightly differently. And then you might even lift your left arm up slightly off the floor and see if that changes anything for you. I've not managed to figure out how to travel with a light carry-on. I always have up my laptop and a bunch of essential oils, a bunch of snacks, and my, my shoulders always Hurt after traveling from carrying such heavy bags to the airports. Bring your right hand to the underside of your head, the right side, and gently tip your head back to center. Bring your right fingertips to the floor. Reach your left arm up and over to the right side of your head. And then again, gently move your left ear in the direction of your left shoulder. You have to kind of explore it to find a good place of release for you. Once you find it, stay with it, keep breathing. You might float your fingertips up off the right hand up off the floor. You might 
Move your chin down or up or back. Maybe move your arms slightly back more to see if that changes anything. Bring your left hand under the left temple and gently lift your head to neutral. Now bring your hands to cradle the base of your skull and curl up through your heart, elbow tips toward the sky. Pull your shoulders back a little and just curl your neck, lift your heart. And bring your head more to neutral, reach your arms up over your head and draw them all the way back down. Now please come onto your back and have a block nearby. As you lie onto your back, start by taking your block between your inner upper thighs. Bring your arms to the floor in cactus with your palms up, elbows about shoulder height. Squeeze the block with your inner thighs and twist both legs over to your right side. Rest your left shoulder back. Keep your head and neck more neutral for now. Energize your thighs against your block and maybe I'll come to center. You might need to bring your toes down, shift your hips a little bit to the right side and then pull your knees into your chest again. Flex your feet, squeeze the block and twist your legs to your left. Pull the right shoulder back. Keep squeezing the block with your inner thighs and inhale to center. Lower your feet down, remove your block. Take it either the flat, the lowest way, the flat way, or the medium height right under your sacrum, the lowest part of your spine where the vertebra are fused like a triangle shape. Draw your shoulders back into a Supported form of bridge pose. Draw your chin out of your chest. You can stay in a supported bridge or what I would suggest doing, especially if you actually have been traveling, is take your legs up, the Parita Karani. And a couple of deep, slow, steady breaths. Separate your feet a couple inches apart. Make circles with your ankle, just ankles just to help increase the circulation. Go in both directions. And back together. Bend your knees, lower your feet to the floor. Gently lift your hips to remove the block. Hug your knees to your chest and sway slightly from side to side. In happy baby pose, separate your knees, either hold your shins or reach and hold your feet. Lift your feet in line with your knees and tug down. Simultaneously push your feet against your hands. Your sacrum connected to the earth and then mirroring the shape that we made seated with that wide angle we'll do it here you can flip your hands to the inner sides of your feet or onto the inner sides of your thighs and reach your legs out into a wide angle pulse energy and stretch from your pelvis long out through your legs out through your feet We 
you bend your knees, rejoin your legs together, and give yourself a big squeeze. Stretch your legs out one at a time. Set up to rest in Shavasana. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Release it through your mouth. One more time. Inhale deeply. And gently out through your mouth. And then allow your breath to flow naturally. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Let your belly be soft, your jaw soft. Rest as long as you wish to fully absorb the benefits of your practice, to come home again, wherever you may be. And thank you for your practice. Namaste.